I really thought I was done with Skyrim. I literally couldn't tell you how many characters I've probably made on this game. I've been playing it since I was 11 years old. I still remember my first character who, you know, was a stealth archer. Through two consoles and three PCs, this game has always been on my hard drive. Even though this is probably my favorite game of all time, I still was burnt out. No concoction of mods really could keep my interest for more than a few days, then Skyrim would lay dormant for a few months, until I felt like playing again. But recently, I acquired a Reverb G2, and I knew it had to be done. Playing a game you have been playing for 10 years, but now you're actually in the world is something else. Mucking around in the swamps near Riften, climbing the 7,000 steps to High Hrothgar, these are things I've done hundreds of times, but now I'm actually doing it. It's a whole different experience. This experience is only really possible because of Kanger and Kvite, the guys who made the Foos mod list. It's super easy to download, it's like 200 plus mods. So I got that all settled and loaded up Skyrim. As soon as I threw on that headset, I was hit with a giant wave of nostalgia. I mean, I may or may not have shed a tear when the mini music started playing, but how could you blame me? My childhood dreams were coming true in front of my eyes. And let me tell you, the feeling of actually being inside the game is nothing short of breathtaking. I felt like I was really there, walking through the forest, fighting dragons, exploring ancient ruins. It's honestly a little trippy. I usually stay away from the main story on my playthroughs of Skyrim because I've played it, you know, a lot, but I was intentionally trying to do the main story in VR, but I couldn't get anywhere without just <laughs> randomly walking off in a direction that I just thought looked cool and I wanted to go over there because VR is, it's a whole different playing field. Standing outside Whiterun and looking up at the third of the world and seeing High Hrothgar just there and it's like 3D, you feel like you can just walk there. It's, it's crazy. It would be really hard for a VR specific title to actually match the scale of this game. You can even add content mods like Beyond Skyrim and the world just gets even bigger. But seriously, a walk through even just Riverwood is beautiful. The immersion is seriously on another level, and with the vast collection of mods being updated and created to this day, it's pretty hard to run out of things to do. You can download weapons, armor, or even entire quests with pretty minimal setup. As I said earlier, I highly recommend the Foos mod pack. It has multiple options for how modded you want your game. I'm currently using the Foos Roda version, which is one of the larger mod lists that they offer. I've also added a few of my own mods, uh, particularly character overhauls. Being able to play this game in a way that feels fresh is something that I've been looking for for a long time, and I'm really glad that I'm able to easily have this experience available. I also just want to give a, a big shout out to anybody that mods, you know, for any game that has a community of modders, is, you're really doing God's work. Some of my truly best gaming experiences these days are old games with mods. I love classic Star Wars Battlefront 2. Speaking of, I, the modders for contractors who managed to put that game into a whole different game, uh, that's insane. <laughs> I play that all the time, so maybe some videos coming of that game. I've recently also been trying to get into the Stalker series. Uh, I really love Into the Radius. It's probably the first VR game I played. And man, the atmosphere of Stalker, especially with mods, is crazy. Uh, back to Skyrim, I've been playing and specifically modding this game since Special Edition first allowed mod support on the Xbox One. And it's a huge testament to the modders that I'm still playing this game in 2023, which is crazy. But behind all the mods lies an amazing game that you're not going to be able to find a sense of scale like it in the VR space, at least that I know of. And 
boy, that keeps me coming back. I can just load up the game and walk for 30 minutes, just climbing mountains and killing bandits and <laughs> just not even stopping to realize that I don't even know what I'm doing. If you have a VR headset and a decent PC, I highly, highly, highly recommend downloading Skyrim, installing the basic Foos mod list, and get ready for that ultimate freedom that Skyrim provides. Thanks for watching. This was my first real go at making a YouTube video, um, so I would appreciate any feedback. Uh, if you enjoy VR games, Skyrim, or any of them really, uh, consider subscribing, uh, leaving a like, and I'll uh, talk to you later. I'm the strongest man alive.